Well, we're about to lose Childish Gambino. Speaking of having things to lose, uh, Childish Gambino has announced, or Donald Glover has announced, the last Childish Gambino album uh, will be coming soon, and then that's it. Childish Gambino will be no more. Okay. Go ahead. Come on. I just think this whole last album stuff is nonsense. And I'm not just talking about Donald Glover. I'm talking about everyone. Everybody's got a last album coming. Everybody's doing on their last bid. What? And then we see you again making another album. Or I don't believe any of them. I'm sorry. This is my last album. No, this is how you're there selling is. your next album. There is one person who I can name. Only one. That uh, it was their last album. It's been almost ten years now. Cool. Joe Budden. Yes, and he's up. He should. He should probably continue what he's, what he's doing right now. Okay, I know the I know the fans don't want to hear that, but I'm just he's doing really well. I understand why he hasn't gone back. Yep, and after that. But, after that Steve Jackson call, he's about to be out of here, out of here. Well, look at how, how little you have to do for more. And I'm not I'm not calling what he does small. I just wanna it's it's like the work works um smarter, not harder sort of I, idea. I totally I totally disagree with this. No no no. Wait a minute. I don't I'm not saying he doesn't he doesn't work hard. I'm not saying he doesn't do a lot. What I'm saying is he has often talked about the hustle and the grind that it takes to be a hip hop artist. He has talked about how he he had to sleep wherever, he had to do whatever, he had to there was a lot of grit and grime associated with being a hip hop artist. Now, his job while it may require him to make a lot of decisions and all of that, but he can do it from the comfort of the couch of the podcast. And he's making lots of business moves in other areas too. It's, it's, all I'm saying is it's a little bit more, a little bit less strenuous. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that he does not work hard or that he doesn't have a lot on his plate. He has a, a lot more on his plate, I'm sure now. But I am saying there is a way to work a lot more. There is a way to make money a lot more efficiently than the ways we often have to. Got that's, it. That's what I'm. That's, okay. that's what I'm saying. I'm just talking about his cash flow is probably far better than it was then. Yes, it was. And, and as he would say, I received that. Right. And he's got nicely manicured hands now. And he's got his oversized, um, expensive clothes. And because I don't understand why his clothes are so big. So Donald Glover. <laughs> Niggas will buy anything when they get some money. Donald Glover. Sorry. I don't even know how we got there. Oh, because you said he's the only person who's making. I know how we got said. there. You was getting all your hate off. That's why. That's why we got here. We could all benefit from. Let's work more efficiently. Let's do things that are more lucrative. But let let's find another lane. It doesn't always have to be that lane. It could be another lane, and it could be a lot more lucrative. That's all I was trying to say. I mean, well, tying been... that back to Donald Glover, I think that's part of why there this is possibly the last Childish Gambino album. He's got a lot of successful stuff going on. He is, you know, uh, he has a, a show that many people feel is a highly revered show. And uh, I'm sure he's got lots of other stuff in the works along with acting. Uh, he's got a current show that I believe he's part part creator in that's also doing pretty well, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. So I think what you're saying is part of why we're probably not going to hear from Childish Gambino after Maybe. this. I I hear your uncertainty. Artists are moody. They have a week or a month or a year where they're like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, then two years from now, got an album coming out. 
why did you do that? Why did you play on our emotions so you could sell records and get streams? So they could sell records and get streams. Right, but that's why I don't believe you. You need more people. That guy tried to retire a lot of times. He's the biggest one. He's the biggest no, one. He's, he's the number down. one retirement liar. Love him down, but I don't believe anything he says because of that. Yeah, Jay-Z it. has retired about 70 times and still rapping. Well, hopefully this album we get later this year will be the last one. That's my hope. What? It won't be. I said my hope. He didn't talk to me. I know I got Jay-Z Blue on, but he didn't talk to me. Oh my gosh, here we go with the Jay-Z Blue. <laughs> Come on, man. That was the flyest. My favorite hue is Jay-Z Blue. Then they had cars in Jay-Z Blue. That was the flyest. Anyway, whatever. Don't get me started. They can go back in the archives and find the episode where you do all your Jay-Z Blue business and whatnot. Come on, we had to celebrate his birthday. We were potting on his birthday. How could we not? Mm -hmm. I remember. He was, he was down, too. Don't front. I love Jay-Z. I think he's great most of the time. Yeah. So you don't believe that artists really retire? You think Childish no. Gambino, Donald Glover is full of shit? No, and I honestly wish they would just like, you don't have to say it. Are you going on a farewell tour? Like, are you, what, like, I don't think you have to say it because a lot of them lie. And it's like the mood of the moment. Okay, well, let me ask you this. What if, let's, I hear you. Now let's, let's flip it. Suppose somebody does their last album and doesn't say anything. And they go on tour and it's believed to just be the Jay-Z Blue Tour. And then they never do music again. You don't think that would be doing their fans a disservice? You don't think fans would feel like, if this is truly the end, I would have loved to be a part of this. I would have loved to see that last show <laughs> be there for the fair world. Why are you laughing? Because I have someone in mind. <laughs> All right, talk to me. Oh, no, I wanted you to finish that. Anyway. I wasn't trying to interrupt you. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm saying I, I, you don't think fans would feel like they, like a rug was pulled, pulled from under them or like they missed out on something important if they weren't, if they didn't know this was the end? No. I think they would feel, I think they would be hopeful. I think they would ask for it um, because they don't know that it's over. I think we have seen, and I think that they'll be super supportive in what, wherever things go. And here's why. One word. Rihanna. She refuses to give us music. Refuses to give us music. Some of us could even argue that Rihanna has already put out her final album. She says, she says that there's music. She says that there's music coming, but she may never put out another album again. And what do people do? Clamor for whatever she's doing. Whatever she's doing, okay? People get all excited when she says she's doing the Super Bowl or people get, people love to speculate is there going to be music coming out? It is like a whole movement in itself that she has started among her fans who want an album it creates buzz she continues to be relevant people are but, still people but still that's what want I'm to saying. know people still want to know what she's doing next and she continues to string her fans along and they continue along on the ride myself yes. included but what, I, what I'm saying, you wouldn't, if you knew Anti was the last album. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll use myself. I feel like, man, I never got to see Rihanna live. I feel like I missed out. Mm -hmm. You don't feel that way? You don't feel like, man, I wish I went to the Anti tour or? I do wish I, I, I had seen her live because I don't think I have. I, I do wish I had seen her live. We all saw her live at the Super Bowl. Right. I do wish I had seen her um, at some point. With a, with a special guest. Always a special guest. She will have special guests for the rest of her life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wish that I had seen her, but I'm not losing sleep over it either. Um, because there still is this this elusive 
thing that she's created, right? That we don't even know if it was her last. She's never really come out and said it was. It could good and well be that maybe two years from now we get an album. Maybe this year we get an album. We're probably not. I don't believe we will. I think she's done. But I think if anything, I think she might do a little something where she like, I don't know, puts out like some sort of greatest hits. They don't call it greatest greatest hits anymore. But maybe she like re-records stuff we already had and gives throws us a couple of deluxe songs or something like that. But I don't think she's doing any heavy lifting when it comes to the music at this point. I think the heavy lifting is over. I think she's settling into her life. I think she's very happy with being a businesswoman and still being, she's the face of her brand. It's not even like, it's not like we don't see her. It's not like she's so behind the scenes that she- Oh no, because man, let me tell you that, that Valentine's Day Fenty stuff. Yeah. My, oh my. Mm, mm, mm. It was nice. Oh, okay. oh, was it? Yeah. You ain't seen it? Did you buy some? I unfortunately I could not buy any for anyone I knew, so mm. you know. I didn't have a special mm. someone to buy the Fenty for. So Gotcha. Gotcha. You didn't buy any Fenty for yourself. No, I don't. It's not the kind of garments I wear, you know. Oh. Garment. But... Okay. That was a very grown up way. Thank you. You know, I try. Some say I'm both sexual and intellectual. You know, I don't. Some people say that. I got it. I understand. Well, listen. Yes, I did see. I see everything she does. I follow her because I'm a fan. Me too. At this point, at this point, I'm going to take it any way that I can get it from her at this point. Whatever she's willing to give us. I'm yep. okay with it. Um, I think her performing at a wedding, albeit a billionaire's wedding, I think was her the biggest troll. She just got a check, kid. That's all. She said, fuck all y'all. So you going to pay me how much? I have I'm kids doing. to feed. Put the cash I'm- in the suitcase. Right. And I'm going to have a good ass time because really I'm performing at a party and it is I don't want to go on tour. I'm not taking these babies on tour. These babies are house babies. <laughs> right. Exactly. All I they am... know is all they know is warm weather and blue water. Yep. And Sick. where's and where's daddy? <laughs> right. Exactly. Missing Drake on the future. So he's, he's anyway. Never, he's he's never too far. He's always somewhere close by. The, as he listen, as he should be. Right on, brother. Of course. Of course. But you know, that's one thing that people say, even when she the times when she is on stage, he's always somewhere not far, you know, making sure he supports her or whatever. I imagine that's how it is with the kids. He's never too far away. And that's great. But yeah, I don't think that I don't think I don't. I can't speak for other fans, but I will say I don't think people are. I don't think people are hopeless about it. No, people it's, are feeding for some new Rihanna music, and I don't think it's coming. I don't think it's coming either. But that's been, kind been, of been, a part been, of what, the troll. Ten years, nine years since the album. Yeah, and she be putting out, out like Lucy's that we don't want, like a uh, movie soundtrack stuff or whatever. Because again, they gave me a check. They asked me to do this, and it was decent. And Thames wrote it anyway. Why wouldn't you sing the song that Thames wrote? Right, why not? Thames is another one. I was I was on TikTok and I don't know. They I don't was it Coachella she was at or something? And I every time I see Thames backside, I go what? Oh, oh. I, sure. I think it's about the slander her that. her and her music, but oh yeah, no, the wagon. Yeah. That's a natural one too. It looks natural. That's not the BBL package. It's definitely not. That wasn't the Drake package. Good for her. Good for her. We got to get out of here. I don't know. (laughs) We've gone way over the deep end. So we need to to wrap this up. It's time to go. Will Will you be listening to the, the Childish Gambino album? I guess. Oh, you're a hater. I'm listening to it. I'm, but I'm also a Childish Gambino fan, so. No, I like Childish Gambino. I just feel like, stop, don't lie, don't lie to me. Got it. I don't want your lies. 
okay? Hate liars. But <laughs> I just Unless they're unless they're dressed in Fenty and crawling on a couch. Then maybe lie a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. We'll accept that one. Yeah, we'll allow it. Um, but yeah, I sure I would listen to it. We have a podcast that we do where we talk about music. But even if we didn't have that podcast, would you listen to it? I would check it out. Got it. And here and and one more one last thing. All these people saying that they're putting out final albums. It better be good. Because all of this hoopla around Oh, this is the last one. Is it good enough for you to be coming out and telling us it's the last one? Does it matter? Good question. That's good question. A, that's my two cents. I dig it. 